Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Build video with me, Vanilla Raccoon. hey -o. And in this video, we are going to be learning how to build my very first signature starter house. However, some time has passed since I even formulated this pretty nifty and simple and easy to build house. And with that being said, I think it's time that we go ahead and just remaster it. Maybe make some tweaks and modifications to the blocks that we use to build it and also what the interior of it looks like. Now within this chest are the resources that we're going to be using throughout this Minecraft Let's Build video to build it. And as you can tell, we have a little variation of wood because variation in my opinion at least, is always a good thing to have when you're building. Remember, every build and every project is beautiful right from the start, but if you apply a little variation to it, then it becomes ever so more beautiful. Now, let's just go ahead and pick a nice little spot that we can go ahead and fly to, and I think this will do right here. We're not going to fly too far away because I would like to stay fairly close to the village, so that way, if we were to get lost within this super flat world, we won't have to worry about having to find our way back here and let any of the testificates begin to wonder where we went ahead and went to. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to grab some stone blocks and then some wooden materials so that way we can begin to lay down the foundation and then build the structure on it because every house should be built on a fairly sturdy foundation but in the event that you don't want to go ahead and lay down a foundation then you don't have to but what I'm going to do just for the sake of my own sanity shall we say is I'm just going to go ahead and place a foundation so as you can tell I'm beginning to just lay down some blocks like this and then I'm gonna just place some dark oak logs again like this so you should already have something that looks like this let's go ahead and enter theater mode and have ourselves a clean screen and I want to go ahead and give you various perspectives as to how this looks just so it gives you a better understanding as to what the foundation and the layout is going to look like and I'm gonna now continue to remove any excess grass blocks and continue to lay down my foundation so that way then as we progress throughout this minecraft let's build video it'll help us with the oops with the building process and you're going to see what i mean by that later on but for now let's just go ahead and worry about laying this down now this is going to be the final step for establishing the foundation in which our lovely house is going to be built on and let's just go ahead and do something like this and oops there we go so now what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to raise up the dark oak logs that we have right here just by an additional block so then we have it going up in a total of two blocks and then right here towards the front of the house is where i'm going to lay down my dark oak stairs and then right here in this two by one open space is where i'm going to fill it in with dark oak planks now why don't we go ahead and just clear out our bar of wooden resources and let's begin to use some cobblestone and i'm just going to go ahead and grab the normal cobblestone. I'm not going to worry about mossy cobblestone yet. That's a matter of detailing, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and begin to build the structure. And then, once we're almost ready to conclude this Minecraft Let's Build video, we can then worry about the extra parts, such as detailing. So, we're just going to lay down our roof like this. And I want to point this out right here and now that these upside down cobblestone stairs that are facing one another are only going to be there for temporary purposes. Purposes, but we may go back and we may leave them where they are once we begin to work on the inside of this house but for now at least let's just go ahead and lay down our roof like this now we're going to take our dark oak stairs again and we're going to begin to fill in the spaces between the cobblestone stairs that we place so then we have something like this and now let's go ahead and take our cobblestone blocks and raise it up right here so then we can begin to work on our nice little chimney this is this chimney is going to be a fully functional one so i at least would like to point out that if you are playing in a single player world or on a server just be wary that fire spread may be an issue but if you have it turned off then I don't think you're going to have much to worry about so let's just go ahead and now and take some dark oak logs and then fill in the remaining spot right here and then just so we can go ahead and not have such a flat roof let's go ahead and take some dark oak slabs 
do something like this. And then we're going to take our cobblestone block, do something like that. And I'm not entirely sure if I want to extend the chimney with some, oops, with some cobblestone stairs. I think that looks nice though. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And then right here, hmm. I have a few ideas as to what we can do. We could probably give this roof a nice little lip action right here. I'm not entirely sure if I like that though because we do have this normal stair right here and then an upside down stair on top. Why don't we go ahead and remove that and just place a cobblestone wall. That looks a little odd. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that for now. We may come back to that later on, but I'm not entirely sure yet. So why don't we go ahead inside and begin to work on the floor. So like I said, the laying down the foundation like this will help us with the interior design and I'm about to show you how so let's just go ahead and grab a torch and just give ourselves a little additional lighting in case it's a little dark for you because working in the dark is never a good thing at least for me it's not so where we have the not so vibrant shade of gray is that gray is that is where we're gonna place down our spruce slab and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do something like this and then right where we have the vibrant shade of gray is where I'm gonna lay down my dark oak slab and I'm gonna do this because it's at least gonna help there we go. It's going to help establish some variation. And like I said towards the beginning of this Minecraft Let's Build video, every build-in project is beautiful from the start. But if you apply a little variation and even a little depth and detail into your builds and projects, then it becomes ever so more beautiful. Now let's just go ahead and actually, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and take some stone slabs and some cobblestone slabs. And we're just going to remove these three slabs right off the get-go. And I think where we have the not-so-vibrant shade of gray is at is where I'm going to place down my cobblestone slab. And then right here where we have a vibrant shade of gray is where I'm going to place a stone slab. And then just like that, we're going to go ahead and place a furnace. And... Why don't we go ahead and remove these two upside down cobblestone stairs. Like I said, they may be there for temporary purposes, but I'm not sure yet. And then let's go ahead and do something like this. And we can do something like that. Although I don't want to have the side of the dark oak logs exposed. So why don't we go ahead and just do something like this. There we go. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to applying a little detail and even some depth into your build. Instead of just having a flat wall to look at, we're just going to place an upside down cobblestone slab. And then place down a normal stair but have them facing one another. And then there we go. It just adds a little more beauty into a build. Now let's just go ahead and take some flint and steel and let's light this bad boy up but remember you don't want to play with fire kids so let's just go ahead and oops let's go ahead and do something like this hmm let's go ahead and do something like that for our fireplace there we go so now the fire is tucked in it doesn't have to feel scared and want to jump around just to not be alone so this is going to be a little trick that you may or may not know where if you place down a bed, and let's just go ahead and grab some spruce slabs so we can place them back down when we're done. In the event that you did not know you could do this, you can take a chest and place it beneath the bed and have full access to it. But in the event that that is not, not enough storage for you, you can go ahead and place a second chest, thus giving you a double chest and have complete access to that. Now, although this is going to be a starter house, if you were to go ahead and give yourself an ender chest via cheaty weedy mode, then you can go ahead and do so, and that will help you get complete access to the double chest that we just placed beneath the bed. But if you're just going to stick to vanilla Minecraft, 100%, shall we say, and build this right off the get-go from when you're starting off in a road or on a server, you can go ahead and just take a nice little slab, place it down right there, and you can still have access to it. Now, even though this house seems to be primarily built out of dark oak log, we're gonna go ahead and continue to add some variation by placing spruce fence posts along here. This is something that you don't have to do, but it's at least gonna show that this house has some support from within and not just from without. And speaking of support from without, let's go ahead and work on that now. Because while I'm thinking about it, I would like to get this done and over with and instead of just prolong instead of just putting it off and waiting until later on, or maybe not even 
coming back to work on this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, I would like to say in a random fashion, I'm going to lay down some cobblestone walls and even some spruce fence posts, but I'm not entirely sure if that is going to be the complete case. I may actually begin to get a little analytical on this and let's just go ahead and do something like that. Yeah. And then what we can do here is oh i don't know if i like this though i don't know let's just go ahead and do something like that and again this is just to show that our chimney here because this is fairly tall it does have some support from without from outside of it so that way it's not just idly standing around and may have a little difficulty with staying completely still now let's go ahead and go back on the inside and why don't we go ahead and just begin to let this place feel a little like a let's go ahead and make this place feel like home by placing down a painting just above our bed and then if we have oops I didn't mean to hit that if we have a bed then maybe we'll have some leftover wool that we can use for a carpet so I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna use some light gray wool here some light gray carpets but you can use whatever you want but I think I'm going to take a brown piece of carpet, place it down right there because when I first enter this home, I'd like to be able to rub off any excess soil and overgrowth that may be lingering on my boots before I go any farther into my house so that way I don't track mud anywhere. And then, you know what, since we have these two furnaces here, one for smelting ores or cooked meat and the other for smelting any sand that we can convert into glass or anything else, let's just go ahead and place down a chest within the floor. Now, some people may not like how this looks, and if you would like to, you can go ahead and just take a trap door and cover it up so that way then... You don't see it too much. However, if you are going to do the whole placing a slab right here, you may be able to get a glance at the chest on the left side, but that's okay. So let's continue to add some storage to this nice little starter house. Now, generally what I like to do is I like to place my building blocks within the double chest that is just beneath my bed. That way then I don't have to worry about any hostile creatures coming along and taking anything that I may need later on down the line. And then I just like to take any mob drops and place them in either one of these chests and then anything else that I really don't care for, I can place it in the other. So that way my my storage within this house is somewhat systematic, but at the same time, it is kind of just, eh, I don't really know what to do with it, so I'll just throw it around. Now, one reason why I decided to leave these windows completely open is because some people may say that placing a fence gate within them is a good idea because if you were to go ahead and have a bow on your person, what you can do is you can prop it open, look to the side, cork your bow backwards and then just begin to shoot any buddy or anything that goes bump in the night or even during the day uh, that wishes to do you some harm and that way then you can sort of defend your own house from within it you don't have to worry about running around the outside and getting unwanted hugs from a zombie or even getting blown up by creepers because they're amazed at your own uh, form of defense that you have going on so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to begin to work on a little pen area that you can use to either hoard your animal friends in so that way they're not alone or cold at night or you can go ahead and let this be a little garden area but I think I'm going to try and do both if possible so what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to grab various cobblestone block resources and various stone brick resources and why don't we just go ahead and also give ourselves another fence gate so that way then we can have uh, a safe way in and out and not have to worry about anyone coming from behind now I think I think where we have a vibrant shade of gray is at is where I'm going to place down some cobblestone and I don't want there to be uh, any distinct pattern or uh, system going on as to how I lay down the blocks but when it comes to how the wall is going to look I would like to be able to have a field of view where I can enter this area stand in the middle and be able to see uh, 
in all directions not completely clearly but in a way where it's like okay i don't have to pillar up on top of anything to then look over the wall so why don't we just go ahead and do something like this and then we'll do something like that as well and then we'll just go ahead and take a slab um Let's go ahead and do something like that. Now let's just go ahead and take a look inside and our view is not completely obstructed but it could be a little difficult to do so which is what I would like to have for this little pen area and let's begin to clear out the bar. So now let's just go ahead and work on a crafting chest table. Let's give ourselves a furnace even and let's go ahead and give ourselves a chest. And you know what, for the sake of it, let's also give ourselves a trap, a wooden trap door. Now what I'm going to do right here is in the ground, I'm just going to prop the crafting chest table. And then right here is where I'm going to place the chest. And then maybe what I'll do right over here is prop down a furnace. And then on top of that is where I'll just go ahead and you know what, no, let's go ahead and give ourselves a slab. But let's just go ahead and give ourselves a stone slab. So that way it can sort of blend into its surrounding, so to speak. And then right over here is we're going to place down another chest. Although we already have one chest right here. But you know what? Mm, I'm not sure if I like how that looks. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a cobblestone wall. Prop, place it down right there. Let's go ahead and grab a torch once more and then we'll place it in this corner So that way if we were to work in this area, we won't be completely in the dark And now I think I'm gonna leave that as it is and you know what this is just gonna be a nice little place that we can uh, We can go ahead and lead our animal friends into so that way they are not alone at night or if we're just gonna be lazy throughout the day and stay inside and maybe learn how to get our build on by watching a few minecraft let's build videos from a certain raccoon we can go ahead and do so but they won't have to be uh, a little nervous about being by themselves and we'll go ahead and do something like that although you know what let's just go ahead and place down a cobblestone stair there and a cobblestone block right there mm. Let's do something like this. Let's do something like that. This is a good way to add some uh, variation and depth into your build. Where if you go ahead and just place down stairs beneath slabs or even whole blocks, it just gives that wall a little like, hey, it's not a complete flat surface. And when you look at it from various degrees, let's go ahead and enter theater mode and have a clean screen so we can go ahead and get a nice look at this wall that we have here. It just gives you a little like, hey, you know, there's actually someone who lives here that's a, quite the builder, shall we say. Now let's just go ahead and see if we can add a little detail into the chimney that we have because although this is a simple starter house, I would like it to have some form of a, hey, you know, this house has been around for a little while now. And let's just go ahead and place... I would like to place one more stair on this side of the chimney, but I don't know if I really want to do that. That may just be overdoing it. Um, I think that's going to do it for the chimney and for the house itself. And why don't we go ahead and just continue to throw in some support for this wall that we have here. Place down a cobblestone wall, place down a spruce fence post. And there we go. So that way now, if we need to, if anyone questions what is connecting these two walls or what's binding them together, we can just point to this little support right here and say the cobblestone wall and the spruce fence post. And then let's go ahead inside once more and take a look. And in the event that you don't want to have a place that you can go ahead and brush off any soil or excess overgrowth from your boots so you don't track mud throughout the house, and you want to just place a trapdoor, that's a nice little thing that you can do too, where that way then you can just enter the house, walk over the pressure plate, and like magic, the door will just close right behind you. Now, the reason why I don't have any additional torches placed inside of this house is because this fireplace should ideally illuminate the place fairly well where you won't have to worry about anything spawning in here or letting it be too dark and scary at night. And also, we already have enough fire within a single structure. We don't want to risk 
starting a forest fire. I don't think Smokey the Bear would even like that. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as that is. But before we go ahead and call this a build, why don't we go ahead and just take a nice little flower pot and let's go ahead and give ourselves another slab. Let it be a spruce slab even. Let's place it right here and then we'll place a flower pot right next to the window so that way then we can prop it open and let some fresh air come in and then also let some fresh air, not some fresh air, let some fresh sunlight hit our little dark oak sapling that we have right here so that way it can one day grow into a happy little tree. And you know what? Why don't we go ahead and just place one more table like structure right here and we can go ahead and place various flower plots and then place some more dark oak saplings. And I think that's it. I like how this looks. I think I, I think when it came to remastering my very first signature starter house, it turned out pretty well. And yeah, so that's going to do it for this Minecraft Let's Build video. If you decided to build this in your own single player world or even on a server that you're playing on and you'd like to show me what you did with the place, then feel free to send a picture of me over feel free to send a picture of it to me over on Twitter. You can follow me at Vanilla Raccoon for all the latest news and updates in regards to my, in regards to YouTube videos and even Twitch live streams. But if you like what you see, then please give that like button a hug and subscribe for the latest buzz. And if you had a blast with a good laugh, then make sure you favorite this video and share it with a friend or two. But until next time, peeps, this is Vanilla Raccoon. Peace out. Thank you.